while a Wright State University professor says multiple organizations are taking steps to clean up Grand Lake St. Mary's. Agricultural solutions and universities in our region are partnering to execute methods to clean the lake like treatment trains and dredging. One big step has been to ban the use of manure from December to March to help reduce the amount of runoff from reaching the lake water. So far, the ban itself has made an impact, but the professor says using more than one method is still necessary to help the lake. If you use enough approaches, you find out what works, you find out what combination works, you've got a chance at uh, bringing nutrient levels down. The Grand Lake watershed will always be an agricultural watershed, at least for the foreseeable future. It will always have higher nutrient inputs than the average watershed. But that doesn't mean that you shouldn't improve the environment. And steps are being taken to help farmers work in a way that benefits both them and the environment. Ag Solutions really has taken on a role of um, investigating new technologies and researching edge of field practices that can assist farmers to better improve. Now that doesn't say that we, we haven't made huge strides because we have. I've been working for the county for 11 years and I can tell you now the attitude of the farmers is completely different. The manure ban first implemented about four years ago.